Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So recently, I was trying to play a game that required secure boot and TPM to be enabled. In my case, it was Valorant. Like many of you, I went into my BIOS and enabled those settings, but after restarting my PC, I ran into a frustrating issue. Instead of logging in normally, I got this error on the screen. Something happened and your PIN isn't available. Click to set up your PIN again. Now if you've seen this, you know it's a dead end. I clicked on, set up my PIN, hoping it will let me in. But instead, it said, you'll need the internet for this. It doesn't look like you're connected to the internet. The weird part is I was connected. I tried out both Wi, Fi and Ethernet, and but nothing worked. And the biggest problem, I didn't even have the option to log in using my password. Only the PN setup was showing. No way to switch sign in method. So if you're stuck in the same situation where, where changing secure boot or TPM settings locked you out, and you can't reset the PIN or use a password, don't worry. I'll walk you through a real fix that helped me get back into my system. And it's actually not that hard. Alright, here's what you need to do. First, and go to your Windows lock screen, where the error appears, and hold the Shift key on your keyboard. While holding Shift, we click on the power icon, then choose Restart. Keep holding Shift until you see the Recovery Options screen. Once the recovery screen loads, you'll see several options. Click on Troubleshoot, then choose Advanced Options, and from there, click on Command Prompt. This will open a black command window where we'll do the next steps. Now inside the command prompt, type this command exactly as I say it regedit. And then press Enter. This will open the registry editor, which we'll use to tweak a hidden setting that controls PIN login. Then go to the top left corner and click on File, and in the drop-down, select Load Hive that this will let us load the registry settings from our main Windows installation. Now you need to find the drive where Windows is installed. Now usually it's local disk C, but in recovery mode it might have a different letter for me. It was showing as local disk I. So take a guess, open one, and look for a Windows folder inside. If it's there, you found the right one. Open that drive, go into the Windows folder, then find an open system third two. Inside that, scroll down and find a folder called, called config. Open it. Now see a list of files. Look for the one named softyware. Click on it and double click on it. Will now ask you for a key name. Just type in software and click OK. Now we've loaded that registry hive. On the left side, expand the folder called M Software, then scroll down and expand Microsoft. Under that, find Windows NT and expand it to. Then click on Current Version and inside that, find the folder called Passwordless. Expand that one as well and then click on the folder name Device. Once you click on Device, you'll see two values on the right side. What you need to do is double click each of them and when the edit box opens change the value data from 2 to 0 1 to 0 depending on what it shows make sure both values are set to 0 and then click OK on both now that you've changed the values we need to safely unload the registry how we loaded earlier to do this, click on File again at the top left and this time select Unload Hive. Confirm the pop-up when it appears. Uh, that's it, we're done with the registry part. Close the registry editor in the command prompt. Now click on Continue to Windows or just let your PC restart normally. When your PC boots back up, this time you'll no longer see that PN setup screen. Instead, Windows will now show you the password login screen and you'll finally be able to log in again using your password, reset your P, and get back full access to your system. No more getting stuck on something happened or needing internet when you already have it. So yeah, that's how I fixed it. If you were in the same situation stuck without a PN or password with TPM changes breaking your login, I hope this helped you out. If it did, be sure to give the video a like, and if you have any questions or you're still stuck, and drop a comment and I'll try to reply to everyone. And of course, if you want more helpful tech fixes like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.